So you want your car to shoot flames. <laughs> sense shooting flames is the second most awesome thing apart from all the mustang memes that just came out right after eddie bought a boss 302. there are several ways to make your car shoot flames other than catching on fire and burning down or exploding so let's go over the background of how cars shoot flames in the first place in order to better understand this so in general cars shoot flames when there's excess fuel in the exhaust pipe after intense driving or revving incessantly, the exhaust pipe is really hot. Hot enough to ignite the excess fuel and voila, flames. So how do you end up with excess fuel in your exhaust pipe? Run rich and get rid of your cats. Without delving too deep into combustion chemistry, let's go over a little bit of the basics. So you've got the air fuel ratio. That's the ratio of the air mass to the mass of the fuel. When you have exactly the right amount of oxygen to burn up all the fuel, that's called a stoichiometric mixture. Typically, in a perfect situation, that's 14.7 parts air for every one part fuel. Now, if you have more air than you do fuel, that's called running lean. If you have more fuel than there is air, that's called running rich. You want to run rich because when all of the air reacts with the fuel, there's still excess fuel left over. And where does that go? It gets pushed up by the piston into the exhaust, and if you don't have cats, it comes out the back in a nice flame. So that's the first part. The second is the catalytic converters. What do cats do? Well, simply put, your car doesn't always run at a stoichiometric mixture. There's so many variables in every single combustion reaction, and each firing of the cylinder is slightly different. If you run rich or you run lean, toxic pollutants will be emitted out of your exhaust pipe. Because we care about the environment, excess NOx emissions, hydrocarbons, and carbon monoxide isn't exactly the best thing to be spitting out your tailpipe. So that's where cats come into play. Precious metals like platinum, in a honeycomb-like shape, get rid of all these toxins. They burn up the excess fuel. So, Burning up the excess fuel leaves no fuel for fire. Get rid of the cats, shoot flames. The other way, if you want to be a little bit more lame, is a flamethrower kit. So you can buy uh, these kits that basically attach a spark plug into your exhaust pipe, and you have a button, and you press the big red button, and boom, flames pop out. Anywhere from one to like 30 feet, if you look online, you can get some. But it's not really as cool as having a performance car that shoots flames. So that's how you shoot flames. This is probably the part where I'm supposed to tell you I'm a professional on a closed course and don't do this at home, but none of that would be true. So I'm not gonna strictly tell you to shoot flames out of your car, but it's fire, so <laughs> enough said. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you next video.